Ooh, look at that, look at that. Uh, yeah, I think the numbers are too high for a 10 cent piece. Are we talking shilling? You ready? Oh, look, we're in, even in the sunlight. Yep, here we go. Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. Ooh, well, I'm out on the edge of some diggings. There's a lot of diggings here. And they sort of stretch up that way as well. I'm sort of beside a creek. But whilst the diggings are all there, where did they live? Where did the old timers live? They should have lived out in this flatterish area. So, and you can see I'm cunningly not giving too much away. But anyway, down here, look at this. Nice flodge. It says it's only one or two bars down. I've already dug the hole. And our pinpointer tells us it's right there. Now I've already taken a, a bit out and uh, I haven't got it out yet. So it's a little bit deeper than what I expected. Ooh. Geez, that was bloody close, wasn't it? Is that the end of a, a shoddy end or is it a button? When I saw the signal, my mind just went, oh, button. So let's see. Oh, you are joking me. <laughs> well, let's start with 10 cents, shall we? 69.70, just beside a road. Yep, there we go. I'm on it now. Well, we've got not a bad signal here. Good, constant. Don't know what it is. Might be a shoddy end. Could be a half penny. I don't know. Let's find it. Oh. Well, it hasn't changed much. Oh. So. Try and get the ping pointer out. Ooh, that's round. That's round. And I don't think it's a button either. That might be part of a button, who knows? Might be a lid of something. Oh, it's an interesting little find. Certainly wanted to be found. Oh, I'll see if that's got any detail later on. Let's try this here. I'm in the middle of a thicket. I've got old bricks and all sorts of stuff around me. Another lot of old bricks in through there. But, um, down here, in amongst all the bird calls, I've got that. I like that. So, are we are we sniffing silver? What's going on? Let's have a look with the oh, pinpointer. Birds are loud, aren't they? I think the numbers are too high for a 10 cent piece. Are we talking shilling? 
Are you ready? Oh, look, we're in, even in the sunlight. Yep, here we go. Oh, yes. What's that? 1959. 1959 Rams head shilling. There we go. There we go. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> the smell of lanolin and silver. <laughs> That's a ripper. Very happy to have found that. That'll probably end up being in good nick too. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, actually, that's a bit worn, but that makes it even the more lovelier. Yeah, young Queen Elizabeth. Back in the day. Uh, 52, what are we talking? Nine, uh, six, six years on the throne, thereabouts-ish. There we go. Ah, oh, that's great. All right, we'll keep going. Well, I'm back out at another old rubbish site that I used to know. I haven't been here for, oh, years. Uh, maybe just after I got the six-inch coil for the 800, maybe. A um, lot of shafts here. A lot of brick and glass and oh, all the good things in life. I know I got a clock pendulum here out of an Ansonia clock. I uh, just thought I'd come here with the with the manticore and the mate coil there. I'm I'm running in my my trash discrimination. So you can see I've got a hell of a lot notched out. I've backed my sensitivity back to 27. I want to make it comfortable. I don't need to go down that deep. And in amongst all the rubbish, I managed to pull out that. And you go, yeah, okay. No, have a look at the really tis on that that's quite nice i think i will take this and give this to andrea she'll probably be able to make it more rounder with a little bit of gentle coercion and uh, she'll make something nice out of it i'd reckon all right we will take that put that in the pouch and we'll keep going i quite like the look of this one Couple of bars down. Nice solid. Yep, we'll take that one. There we go. I'm hoping coin rather than aluminium bottle top. It's out. We are still in there, which is good. I'll just crunch that up a bit. Oh, I can already see it. It's not a coin. But, regardless, there we go. We've pulled a ring thing out. So that's not bad. You know, out of a whole rubbishy pile, we've, we've got something like that. That's good. Uh, we'll fill the hole back in. We'll keep going. Well, since I'm doing trashy sites, I am back out to my beloved rubbish dump gully. Uh, just got a, oh, what was it? Sort of a 70-ish signal, 70, 72. Down in the ground, we got that. I reckon it's part of a pocket watch, but it's not silver. It's a cheapy, cheap one. Nonetheless, good signal in the ground. We found it. Now, since I am out in trashy sites, I am going to give a shout out. Now this one is to get someone that is under a thousand subscribers, get them up and over the mark. Anyway, let's see who I'm going to give it to this time. Well folks, it is now shout out time. This is the get them over the thousand mark shout out. So, I want to give a shout out to a detectorist who has clipped onto my radar and they are very good. So I want you to go over and check out and subscribe and like and do all the things to 
push their subscription rates and the channel up higher because you are going to head over on a journey to 10 targets detecting. You are gonna go over and say good day to Camille. Now she runs an 800, she's got a manticore as well, and I know, because she's told me, she's got the new mate coil also. So she does a lot of similar stuff to me. She likes a good trash site, and she is really, really good on her tech. Like if she's working away somewhere and it's just not quite working, she is happy to tweak with the settings to try and get the most out of the machines, whether it be the 800, whether it be the Manta Core. Go, give her a look, subscribe, do all the things, spread the love. So, 10 targets detecting, off we go. Well, a good solid signal there with the mate coil in the high 80s. There we are. There is a Reen 44 gallon drum bun. Plug hole, or plug, I should say. Bung, whatever you'd like to call it. It's pretty decaying now, but we can still sort of see there. Uh, Reen Manufacturing Company, Australia, Proprietary Limited. Ah, oh, it's got all the stuff. Good, decent signal, we weren't gonna leave it. Oh, with the birds and the plane and the wind. Let's have a go at this one, shall we? Was better there. What are we going to say? Is it just going to be a, a uh, bottle top? Will it be uh, a nice bit of silver? Will be a big penny? Who knows? But oh no! There we go. I've spotted it. Oh, that is half a piece of tube of copper and in fact i'd nearly say that this was a bush that's worn out i found another one of those and just looking at this one i now reckon that's what it is yeah, big piece of copper there it is we found it we'll keep going and what would a dig be without there we go a couple of harmonica reeds probably a pair yeah I'll keep going. Well, in amongst the greater periwinkle, we have this signal. And that's just pretty solid. Now, it's probably a bottle top. But by gee, we could, we could really be riding a winner. You just never know. The only way to ever know is to have a dig. That's what I was getting, look at that. Okay, can anyone see anything? Yell out if you can. Ooh! Sorry, I was looking in the wrong spot. Ooh, he says. Now, apart from the slight scratch that that will be me, that is the back of a sterling silver pocket watch. <laughs> and inside there, which we will clean up in a moment, is some details about it. Awesome. We'll clean that up. That's a bloody ripper, that. And we are back. There we are, there's some figures there. That looks like 935. Oh, look, we've even got the standing lion, uh, lion rampart, something like that, in the five. So that is a very, very good find. It's only scrap silver value unless you want to turn it into a pendant or something like that, but yeah, that's a very cool find. We found it was certainly wanting to be family it was just bang bang bangs right on that center line that's absolutely brilliant let's see if there's anything else lurking in the ground well, 62 63 got us that now someone can correct me if i am wrong i think that is a valve stem seal and is it off a model t 
I don't know, it's been flattened, would have been round, but I think that's what they are. Very happy to be wrong, and someone more knowledgeable than I, tell me what it actually is. Leave the comments below. Do you think we should dig this one? reckon we should. Anyone that said nay, yeah, sorry. We're gonna dig it. What's it gonna be? Is it gonna be silver? Is it gonna be an insulin top bottle? Bottle of insulin top? Oop. Let's try that one instead. Where are we? I think we're in that one. Okay, what are we going to see? Something good just there. Oh, oh. Yes. What have we got? We've got a King George. So that will be, excuse the sniffs, Commonwealth half penny. And one penny, 1919. Happy birthday, Mama. There we go. One half penny, 1919, George V. Ooh, yeah. That's not bad out of a rubbish dump. Now we're playing the game. Silver and a half penny. Days are good, let's keep going. Wow, coffee bush. You can't go not digging up a signal. 50-51, solid as you like on that line. You can't not dig that. It's just like a gift from the gods, really. Let's find out. Oh, let's just try to get in there. It wasn't very deep. Oh, stop it. This might need to be shortened a little bit. Nail. It's an old one too, you can see by the diamond head. Early 1900s. But I wouldn't say that was our absolute target. But I might be wrong. No, there it is. Off. Oh, look out. Maybe that's not what it was. Oh, bloody hell. This one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right. Keyhole escutcheon. Remember, that comes in at 50-51. Rightio. Let's keep going. Well, I had a signal coming up in the high 80s. Into the fractional 90s. I've dug. It has fallen out. I have seen it. I know what it is, but I have not touched it. But let's swing over it. Told you it was the high, high 80s. All right. There you go. Hope you thought you weren't going to miss out on your button. There we go. But we can see what that is. Look at that. Zoom in. Oops, I lost focus. There we go. That is a Australian Military Forces button. Yep. That's the one. Let's put it up there. And if we do that, there we are, Australian Military Forces. Here we are. I think this one went through both wars. That is good. We'll put that in the container and we, when it focuses, we'll keep going. Sometimes I have the memory of a fish. Now, it wasn't that long ago that we got that 88, 89 signal. And without looking in my pouch, I can't bloody remember what it was. But... We got another one. So yell out to me and tell me what it was. Oh, 
You're right, it was one of those. Yeah, let's dig this one up too, hey? <laughs> that was a half penny, wasn't it? I remember now. Is this one going to be a half penny as well? Tommy? Oh, oh. oh no, it's not. For I see something rather large. Oh, it's got a hole in it. Oh, I wouldn't half. Oh, it's getting some light. That, it's probably not. But I was just going to say, I reckon that could nearly be a watch face. But there doesn't seem to be anything on it. Certainly got a bevel on that edge. Hmm, interesting. Good big signal. Now, what I was going to say was, you know, I've been over here with the 800 and the 6-inch coil. I don't... No, I've probably been here with a 900 too, to be honest but uh and i know that i have been here at times with the manticore with the 11 inch coil on but by g you know today this magnificent combination we've pulled some goodies out i'm not going to say i've been over every square inch of this place every second square inch yeah maybe but um you know i think this used to be the greater periwinkle that I'm playing around now it used to be a bit more spread out, whether it's died or I don't know. Anyway, we're finding some good stuff. So, uh, but yeah, very happy with how the mate coil goes. Uh, and in conjunction, excuse me, with the um, with the manticore, and you can see, of course, my, my trashy sight discrimination thing out to 34. I got my sensitivity there on 27, as you can see. I've got my recovery speed on 8. Because I know it's trashy and I know the ground is shallow. Anyway, we'll keep going, see what else we can pull out the ground before we go. We'll have a look at this one. Ready? You do not, under any circumstance, ugh, leave that lying in the ground. Oh, actually, there's what it is. Oh, let's have a look. That is a big piece of brass. It's been cut off some sort of tube. So we can see there by the hacksaw marks on this side. But yeah. And in fact, it nearly looks like it's a brass thread at 28 threads per inch. Yep, that's about right. So yeah, big piece of brass. You know, thump and signal, had to dig it, now we know what it was. I've dug this one out of the hole. It was a, it was a pretty, oh, it wasn't a nice looking signal, but it was one that at least had my interest. But now that it's out, you know, that, that's silver coin. Uh, territory that so what have we got let's find out shall we that's not that is it no good oh that's not what we wanted no wonder it was a scrappy signal oh I know what that is though there we go. That is a window latch. So that's what would have been on the upper double hung window. And the latch would have been on the lower sash that would have gone up above it. So yeah, big piece of brass. That's what it was. That's eh, not a bad find. Yeah, we'll keep going. Now, Camille and I are very, very similar and how we like to end. We like to go out with a really good, decent target. A, uh, as the boys over in Yorkshire would say, a last all banger. And... That's just down there. Good solid. I like the numbers. They are... Oh, there's a mozzie around me. They are um, silver range. Now I have 
we are just there. I know that much, but I haven't, I don't know what it is. I'm hoping for a threepence. Oh, but, oh, excuse my sniffles. I have just seen, and you are now. Yep, I think we'll take that though. Very crusty. I can't really see that. So, oh, there we go. That's a common roll. That will be George V. It's been burnt. Again, 1919. How about that? I reckon that we may just call it at that. Let's go in. Yes, it is 1919. Beautiful. Two 1919 half pennies for this afternoon. I think that's a good way to win. Anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your data checking, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And go over and see Camille. Subscribe, like, you know, comment, all the things. Tell her. Tell her the CBK sent you over. And uh, yeah, let's get her up over the thousand mark. She deserves it. Anyway, we will catch you later.